All right, so just want to show you a little bit about what we've been doing the stripes for the last two days. Alex and I got the beam removed out of it. Getting ready to put the ultimate beam from Air Cooled, uh, from Pete's Air Cooled Customs in California. Getting ready to put that beam in. Uh, got that a couple of weeks back. Showed you some pictures of that. Really good stuff. But what I did, you know, stripes is just a, a basically a daily driver, kind of a rat rod type thing. But I want to touch it up and paint some of the exposed metal and really make it look good underneath. So that's what we're doing right now. We cleaned all this area up. Uh, I'm gonna spray a little black paint on it. Somebody had already done some undercoating under it. I got a lot of that off. Got all the lines taped up. I don't like looking under something and seeing all my lines painted. You gotta st stay tuned, we're finna smear a little paint. show you some of the rusted areas in this car uh, and you start cleaning stuff up and removing undercoating and knocking the first layer of dirt and mud off you start finding the rusty spots that ain't no big deal yes you know, we're gonna paint it for right now we'll come back and fix that when we put pans in it this winter and this lower skin right here on your front uh, front of your tunnel this lower skin drills off see all these pot rivets right here not pot rivets spot wells you draw all them out just like just like you do on a floor pan. There's some of them right here. A row of them across the back. Oh, you draw all them out. Cut this weld right here. This is probably the hardest part because it looks like a pretty solid weld right here. So you cut that loose and then that lower skin will come off. We get it replaced. Right. Got some rust issues you'll see in this video. We'll fix them at a later date. Uh, we're going to put pans in this car. And just plugging along, trying to make this a really nice car for the shop. Uh, super excited about this weekend. We'll be in Townsend, Tennessee at Summer Jam, put on by Knoxville Dubs. Y'all come by and see us, check us out, pick up some merch. Be a part of the weekend, be a part of this weekend's video. So let me just show you a little bit about this ultimate beam. This thing's super cool. Y'all just have to excuse me. This is a shop. This is not a. This is not a studio. The lighting is not all that great in there. So try to get it where you can see it really good. Look at that. Look at that new uh, cap right there. Ultimate beam. This thing is super cool. I bought a lot of parts off the West Coast from different suppliers. But I, I'm really impressed with this. You can see where we painted all the front of the frame head and, and underneath the front apron. Uh, just. Cleaning things up, you know, that's what we do here. We don't we don't build high-end show cars, but we make what we got as nice as possible. We're getting there. We're growing daily. All right, so we just want to take a minute and catch up on the front end install, the front beam install. Everything's finished up except for the gas tank putting the gas tank back in i just got through lining the front end up uh i've got some minor stuff i got to do touch up paint the boots on the ball joints come loose i got to fix that just minor stuff so real pleased with the way this installation went uh, if you can see right here see if i can get the camera so I installed caster shims in the lower tube. We put those on red 67 and it seemed to make a huge difference. So I went ahead and put them in here. I've already greased the beam. And I am I am super impressed with this quality of this, of this uh, ultimate beam from Air Cooled. Huge thank you to Pete and his team. Uh, when we made a trip to Mr. Ed's yesterday, picked up some new shocks for it. Well, let me let this thing down and show it to you from the top. Hold on just a second. We're fixing to put the front wheels on this thing and put it on the ground. Got some work to do on the back. Just show you what it looks like from the top. New tie rods, new rag joint. 
new steering damper. This thing's really nice. Look at the detail work in the steering damper bracket. Super stoked about this. We're gonna finish it up. Uh, just give you a heads up for future reference. Notice this front rotor here is uh, drilled also for Chevrolet four, uh, five on four and three quarter. Excuse me there. Stay tuned for more to come. So we're down here today still working on stripes, putting the finishing touches on it. Yes, it's a patina car, but we're trying to make it look as good as possible. We got the bumpers off of it. Uh, I finished up the front beam, got all that lined up this morning. Uh, Steven got here. He's been kind of water sanding the clear on it. Just show you a little bit more of what we got going on with stripes right here. Steven's working on getting this run out. We took the chrome trim off right there. Uh, we had a, what's it called, a three finger run right here in the lower quarter, quarter we got that out. Just getting, knocking all the edges off. You see it down there, you can see he's already wet sanded this side. I've got the rear suspension coming out. Uh, we'll go ahead and lower it. Just taking my time, cleaning parts up. Really want to give a shout out to my new Sonic cleaner, look at there. Cause I had to scrape that just a little bit and then wire brush it, but man, most of that come off from the Sonic, come out from the Sonic cleaner. Great tool to have. All right, we're gonna put this thing back together. Finished up, uh, setting the rear torsion down. Like always, you never know what you're getting into when you go to releasing or compressing the torsion. You're always gonna be careful with that. Them spring plates are loaded. So we may, it may have been too much, we don't know. It looks good when you do it one side, but when you do it both sides, it changes. Either way, it's not coming back up. Scraping off a five finger run there. This car was probably originally clear coated and put on a car lot for sale somewhere. Then we come along and bought it, and here we are today. All right, so it's 8:30 on Thursday night. We're putting carpet in stripes. We're gonna lose this runaboy before the weekend's out. This is a kit from So Fine. Really nice kit. We just gotta figure out how it goes. We're learning. Do we? Got all the kill mat in. Special thanks to Miss Kathy for all the kill mat she donated.
All right, good morning, good Friday morning. Uh, it's been a busy morning. We worked late, late last night trying to get stripes finished up. Uh, Steven spent all day polishing on it, wet sanding and buffing on it. I finished up the front end, we put new carpet in it. Uh, trying to get this car where we want it to be. It's been a, been a busy, busy week. So we're loaded up, fixing to head north. Towns of Tennessee, Rocky Top for Summer Jam. Man, really looking forward to this show. Uh, been kind of transformed over to be put on Knoxville Dubs. So huge shout out to all my friends from Knoxville Dubs. Thank you for putting on this event. Hope we have a great weekend. Uh, there's a little rain going to be in there, but that's okay. I'm hanging out with the Volkswagen community, and we're not at work. So that's good. All right, just show you a little bit about stripes right quick, and then we'll get on the road. All right, so there it is. Had a lot of fun with this car. Uh, a lot of upcoming things for it. One thing this morning, uh, she didn't want to go on the trailer. She burped and barked and squalled and squealed. Stripes not a trailer queen. She's a daddy driver. <laughs> 